Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I'm in my front garden today and you guys can see I am all decked out in my PPE. I just wanna forewarn you, this video is gonna be kinda gross. So if you guys are queasy with bugs and stuff like that, then this is not the video that you wanna watch. Um, and I don't mind, that's okay. I was kinda grossed out <laughs> planning this video anyway. That's why I got these gloves on. So I have aphids gross you know i this is a common thing this is something all gardeners deal with um it's just that that time of year where i have aphids really really bad i came out here to kind of trim my espal ivy espalier yesterday and it was on all the new growth it was like solid black aphids really really gross so my one of my goals for this year is to use less chemicals um i'm doing the ipm integrated pest management this year which is basically pest management where you start with the least toxic um, uh, implementation and then you work your way up to more toxic only as needed so basically you always want to start off with the least toxic way of dealing with the pest first and so um, having you know having said that knowing that my way of dealing with aphids this year is threefold and um, I've decided on this based on talking to other gardeners looking at other YouTube channels and Instagram channels you know and reading about that and so this is my plan for this year and I wanted to share it with you guys so the gross part the very first part is um, it's gonna be mechanic physical or mechanical IPM if you guys watch my IPM uh, pest management video I'll link it up above um, but the first thing I'm going to do, which is where the gloves comes in, is I'm going to squish them. So yesterday when I saw the aphids all over, the, the first thing I could think of to do was just to run my hands along the vine, um, just, to, just to squish all of them. Aphids are soft-bodied insects, so it's super easy to just you know, physically squish it was so gross. It's so gross, but it works really, really well. Um, it's obviously not a one and done technique, right? So you have to kind of keep going out there um, and keep checking for them and keep squishing them as you see them. Um, but once you get on top of it, it should be pretty easy. So that is my, you know, step one for controlling aphids is getting, I have a whole box of these gloves. So getting these gloves on and squishing the aphids. Step two is actually using my water wand and turning it to the jet setting, which would be a nice strong stream of water and just spraying the aphids with that. And that actually works just like it works for white flies. And the pressure of the water actually smashes the aphids and knocks them off the ivy. So those are the two techniques that I'm planning to use the most. And you can see there's absolutely zero chemicals, um, zero toxic toxicity with that. It's all physical and mechanical pest control. The third technique that I wanted to show you guys, um, because I do have some sprays and I'm going to use them if I need them, uh, I'm going to use insecticidal soap. And I am not familiar with this brand. It's just something that they had at the garden center. So I grabbed it. Um, and basically insecticidal soap is going to be my step three if I actually need it, right? So going up the, the ladder of toxicity. And basically what insecticidal soap does is um, um, it dries out the leaf area and it basically suffocates the bugs on there. I also think of it, I don't know if this is valid, correct me if I'm wrong, but I also think of it as, you know, it's soap. So it makes it really um, slick and makes it so that they can't attach on to the plant very well. There are some drawbacks to using an insecticidal soap. Of course, it's a chemical that you're putting on your plants. Um, and then it also is, um, it can burn your plants if you spray them in the sunlight. Uh, so think of it as like a magnifying glass. If you put a magnifying glass in the sun and then the sun's rays come through there, then it's going to burn your plant basically um, so you want you know I'm obviously gonna be safe if I use it here because this is full shade but if I go and spray this on my bougainvillea which is south full Sun those poor little leaves are gonna get scorched so you want to do it on a cloudy day or you want to do it on a day um, you know in the evening or, or the early real I wouldn't even say early morning I would say evening so it has all night to kind of um, soak in and, and um, dry up so use of insecticidal soap used to be really popular in gardens until things kind of changed to using more chemicals and more toxicity. Now it's a swing backwards to more organic gardening. So insecticidal soap and neem oil is getting more and more popular, which is obviously really good. Um, so anyway, today I wanted to show you guys squishing the bugs, spraying the bugs. And then I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna spray this today because I don't think I need to yet. I don't think it's that out of control, um, but I wanted to show you my step three if needed. 
Okay, so there you can see the gross little aphids. These were all over the new growth yesterday. Um, and so this really isn't anywhere near as much as I had before, but I'm gonna show you guys. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hands and I'm just gonna run it along the stem. Aphids like to attack the new growth, and if you let them go, they will completely harm the plant and stop the new growth and, um, and really just damage it. So you can see why I am wearing gloves, because you can, it's, it's basically aphid guts <laughs> all over the place. But just from doing that, I got all those aphids, they were killed, and it's completely natural. I didn't use any chemicals at all. So very easy easy way to do it it's it's probably the right way to do it you just have to get you got to put your big girl pants on and do it, and do it or big boy pants on i should say too so you can definitely just leave it at that you know you squish the bugs you've gotten most of them i am also going to spray today just in case i missed any of them you know and ivy likes water so i might as well just give it a nice big drink of water so i'm going to go ahead and do that and show you guys how i do it Okay, so that's it. I squashed the bugs with my hands and then I sprayed them off with a strong stream of water and that should be good. There's no more on the IV right now and so I don't think I'm gonna need to use the insecticidal soap, um, but I do have it just in case it gets out of control. Um, and I think that that will be a good tool in my in my toolbox just in case I do need it. So I'm probably gonna go in the backyard now and do the same thing with my bougainvillea and then into my cottage garden and do the same thing with my bellflower. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, I hope this video was informational for you because who would enjoy seeing bugs squished? Um, but you know what I mean. So if you guys like this, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.